In today's video, I will show you how to repair and hydro test a swing check valve. Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves, the channel dedicated to bringing you everything valves. Thank you for everyone supporting this channel. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe for more valve videos. Here we have inch and 13 sixteenths 10,000 PSI swing check valves. This valve is leaking past the seat and must be repaired. In order to repair this valve, we must remove the bolting. We're going to take our impact gun and begin to remove the bolting from the cap. Once all the bolting is removed, we can remove the cap. Here's a closer look at the cap. It has two O-rings. These O-rings prevent any leakage past the cap. Here inside of the valve, you can see the disc, the disc retainer. You pull it out like so. Here we have the seat ring there inside of the body. This valve was not leaking at the cap, it is leaking at the seat. Here inside you can see the seat. This is a disc retainer in the disc. Here we have the old disc that was inside of the valve. You can see the seat insert there. It has some small imperfections, but this is the disc. It's a solid disc with an insert. Here is the new disc, identical to the old one. We're not going to use the old disc here. We're going to replace it with the new disc right here. So we're going to take our disc retainer, insert the disc, and then insert our pin. This is our pin that holds the disc into place. Now we're going to put a little bit of grease on the insert. We're going to take the disc assembly and insert it into the body of the valve. And we're going to push down to make sure that disc retainer goes all the way down. Now we're going to function the valve to make sure the clapper opens like it should. This is the clapper or disc opening. Now that everything is complete, we're going to reassemble the bonnet and retort down the bolting. Now we're going to get ready for the hydro test by putting on our blind flanges. We're going to put our blind flanges on both inlet and outlet ports and torque them down. Shell test. So we're going to perform the shell test. We're going to connect our water. For our shell test, we want to make sure we apply pressure on the inlet side of the valve. So we want it to come from this direction. We're going to fill the body cavity with water before we apply pressure. You can see the water coming out now, indicating the valve is full. We're going to close our bleeder valve here. And now we're going to start applying the high pressure to the valve. And we will begin to pressure this valve up to 15,000 PSI. Now that we have reached the test pressure, we're going to isolate the pressure inside of the valve and wait the duration of the test. This hydro test requires a five minute minimum holding time. After the holding time, we will bleed off the pressure. Seat test. To perform our seat test, we want the pressure to come from our outlet towards the inlet. We want to bleed off the pressure from inlet side and begin to apply pressure from the outlet. We'll pressure up the seat to 10,000 PSI and hold it for a minimum duration of five minutes. 
Once the test has held for five minutes, the valve has successfully passed the hydro test. I hope this video was helpful in giving you an understanding on how to repair and perform a hydro test on a swing check valve. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Everything Valves, and we'll see you in the next video.